hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Okay, so we just checked into our Airbnb and you can see, but like we have our own private elevator that brings us up to our floor, which is pretty amazing. Alex and our friends found this place and it was like super, super reasonable, which I'm like blown away by how reasonable this place is and, um, and what it's like. So I wanted to show you guys around before we start getting comfortable and everything like that. Um, our friend got in before us, the one that came um, without her husband. And so she got here before us and she went and got the car and then she picked us up and then she and Alex and I went to Las Olas Boulevard and ate at, I think the restaurant was called Casa Del Mar. I had a salad, Alex had a salad and she had a fish sandwich on like this really thick bread with like these cut potatoes. So anyway, and then we came over here and now we're just getting settled and we're getting ready to um, go pick up our friends, the newlyweds. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna show you this place is rather large. So I'm gonna show you their master bedroom, first of all. So when you come right in, this is their master bedroom, which is really nice. And you can see it goes right out to the patio. And then it's really nice bed. And then when you go in here, you can see it has closet and then big, huge closet. Then it has a um, big closet over there. And then it has this gorgeous bathroom. This like stone shower and nice tub. So beautiful. And a um, little vanity area there to get ready. And then a little private bathroom with more cabinetry. And then, okay, go back out this way. So this is um, the rest of it. I'll show you the balcony. So I hit the button and <laughs> stopped the camera by accident. Okay, this is the um, living room. Look at the floor down here too. Can we just talk about this floor in here? Pretty amazing. This little fish mirror. Okay, so this is the living room. TV over there. Looks like this huge balcony. There's my husband going out the door. Dining room table. <laughs> Are you shaking your butt? And this is the balcony. And you can see that we have beautiful view over here. The beach over there. And, oh, wait, 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 it's from over here, you can see. Pretty nice, huh? You're welcome. I know, thank you for organizing this. Beautiful, isn't it? And we have this whole thing. We got to set up the little patio area here. And then, okay. Some chairs down there. Ugh. This door is heavy. All right. And then, um, this is like this little kitchen nook area. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show the kitchen right now. Because they're doing like some work in here. So, this is the kitchen area. Do, do, do. Oh, everybody's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> They're fixing some stuff in here right now. And then a uh, little kitchen area, a little f um, coffee nook for me. And this is like the breakfast. I'm fixing everything. And then there's another little breakfast nook area over here. And then to come in again, here is the elevator. And if you go down this hallway, there are, there is a bathroom and then a huge laundry room. And she said if you look out the window at night while you're doing laundry, that you can um, see the skyline, which is pretty cool. And then there's another elevator right there. And then this is one of the bedrooms. If anybody was in here. So this is one of the bedrooms, guest bedrooms, and um, has its own bathroom and everything. Very nice. And then this is our bedroom that we're staying in over here. It's really pretty. And then it has this stand-up shower, which this is like almost exactly the shower that I would love to have in our house beautiful 
So yeah. So that is our place for the weekend. And um, I will be back later and kind of fill you guys in on what we're doing. I have been up. I got one hour of sleep. I watched on the plane. I watched Unhinged. Uh, well, I finished watching the summer of 84, which was fantastic. It was really, really good. And then I watched Unhinged with Russell Crowe. I should probably sit this way for the light. Which was probably one of the best thrillers that, I, thrillers that I've ever watched my entire life. And I had a Diet Coke and a cup of coffee on the plane. And I'm really, really tired because I got one hour, one hour sleep. So anyway, all right, you guys, I will be back later. <laughs> Bye. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? It is like 10 o'clock in the morning and I have been up for two hours already. I've had my coffee. I was sitting outside on the patio. There's our patio out there. Isn't it so pretty today? Anyway, um, I did not vlog last night because I went to bed super, super early. Um, I was like in bed and asleep by like 9.45. I set my alarm for 11.30. I was gonna get up and I was gonna watch. Um, I started watching them. I said on Amazon Prime, I think. Have you guys seen this show? Oh my God. I started watching the first episode on the plane coming down here. It is so, so, so good. I didn't talk about any of the movies or anything that I watched on the plane on the way down here, did I? So I finished, or did I already? I don't know. So I finished um, 1980, the summer of 1980, summer of 84, really, really good. I would highly, highly recommend that movie. It was a great horror movie. And then, um, and the ending of it is just like, oh my God, it's a lot. Because you think it's over and then it's not over kind of one of movies, you know? And then um, I, what did I do next? Um, oh, then I watched Unhinged with Russell Crowe, which is an unbelievable movie. Um, I was actually talking to one of the, the other couple that's down here with us and they had watched it and they, they didn't like it. Well, she thought it was okay and he just hated it. And I was like, oh, it was like one of the best movies ever. So um, I watched, that was the other movie that I watched on the plane. And then I started watching Them, which is on Amazon Prime. It's like this new show. It's really, really scary. And um, so anyway, last night after I vlogged and showed you guys everything, um, we pick, went and picked up the other couple from the airport. And then we went to the grocery store and we bought like all of our food and treats and drinks and everything like that for the week. And um, I got orange juice and coffee and Diet Cokes and Red Bulls and Alex got a bunch of Gatorade and then all kinds of stuff. And um, I got bagels and cream cheese and Havarti cheese. And in the morning I like, I made this morning, I can't believe I got up so early. I um, toasted a bagel and then I put cream cheese on it. And then I put a piece of Havarti cheese on it. So when I got up this morning, I was, are you ready? I was the third person up. Well, our friends, the couple, they got up super early and they went and walked on the beach. Well, they had breakfast and they went and walked on the beach. And um, then they came back. And so then that's when I saw them. And um, they were going down. They've like held chairs for us on the beach and stuff like that. So they got all the chairs for us. And um, then they left and then our other friend got up and she was doing some work stuff and then she made a breakfast sandwich and so she and I sat and talked. Hello. <laughs> do you wanna do that again? <laughs> Are you ready to go to the beach? Uh, he said he was gonna do some work stuff but I guess that's not gonna happen. I worked from my phone on my bed. <laughs> okay. So anyway, and then we, had, um, we sat in the kitchen I don't know if you can see it. Right over there, is that where it is? We sat over there. <laughs> can you see it? In the little breakfast nook area. And um, we ate breakfast and talked, which was really fun. And then my husband was the last person to get up today, surprisingly. And um, so I took him some coffee, because I'm such a nice person. And <laughs> yeah, we ordered in last night, we got Mexican food from this place called Rocco's Tacos. I would not recommend this place. We were so excited about it. 
and um, some of the food was not in the order. And um, I got vegetarian nachos and then a cheese quesadilla and I didn't even eat all of it. Oh, and uh, a lote. Hey, Alex. Yeah. How do you pronounce that corn stuff that I get? Elotes. El elotes. Which is like corn on the cob and then it has like, you know, it's like street corn that I love. That was actually really pretty good. Yeah, and then we just sat on the patio and we like talked last night and stuff and it was fun. It was just really relaxed and laid back. So we're having a good trip. We're just hanging out. Are you going down to the beach right now? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna film a video and then I'll be down there. Okay. So I'm gonna film a video for my other channel here in just a bit. And um, let's see. Called yesterday and talked to Tanya and checked in with her. The dogs are doing good. She said Boo and Tucker are having a really good time and they're like running inside and running outside and running inside. She said they're having a good time. So I talked to Tanya for a while. And then I talked to my sponsor. And who else did I talk to? Um, I talked to um, do, 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 a couple other people. Yeah. It's so funny, like, when I'm on vacation, because, like, when I get up, you know, at home, like, I get on social media, like, you know, after I, like, do my prayers and my meditations and stuff, then I'll be on social media, like, just, like, I look at stuff for, like, a little while, you know? And it's, like, here, it's just, like, <laughs> I do for, like, five minutes, and then I put my phone down, and I just kind of, like, relax and, like, you know, stuff. <laughs> so, actually, I was, like, watching some funny videos this morning. What was I watching? It was something, um, oh, I had started... This is so silly, but I had started on a video, a Peter Dust stuff video the other day. I had started um, watching, like, like try to watch this video and not laugh. And so it was on my history. <laughs> and so I was watching that and just like laughing my butt off. But anyway, okay, the only problem <laughs> with the place that we're staying at is that we're on like one of those platform beds, you know, which is great. Like we have one of those at home and I love it. But the two corners, like the corner by my head and the corner by Alex's feet are like broken. And so the mattress sinks in and it was not comfortable last night. And I woke up this morning and my back was like, uh, I think it also probably because I slept like, you know, got a full like eight or nine hours of sleep. But my like back was killing me this morning. But anyway, it's absolutely beautiful here. There's like nobody. I'm like looking at the beach right now. And there's like nobody there. I see like two people on the beach. And the beach over here, which is where we're going to, there's like nobody over there either. Oh, the other day, so yesterday, we walked to the resort next door because we get to use like the pool and the beach and the restaurants and everything at the resort that's right next door to us. And um, so they have like a private pool um, and we went to it and it's like, cause the, the main pool was like very, very, you know, like it wouldn't say it was super busy, but it was like busier, you know? The private pool that we walked to, we were the only ones there. And it was like, I mean, it wasn't a huge pool. It was like the size of the pool is a little bit bigger than the pool that we have in our like condo neighborhood. Um, but it was, um, but it, um, we went to it and it has really nice chairs and stuff and there was like nobody there. So we stayed there and waited for like an hour. So anyway, yeah, I think my husband's going down to the pool. And then I'm gonna film a drama video. And then I think I'm gonna upload that. I didn't wanna get down to, I didn't wanna be down there too long because I have a feeling that, because I got up so early that I'm gonna be tired early too. But I'm gonna listen to my new audio book that I'm listening to, which is called Rush of Blood, which is really pretty good. And um, it's about these three couples from the UK that go to Florida on a trip. And like the last day that they're there, this girl goes missing. And I have a feeling like one of them has something to do with her going missing because it's really about them getting together after the trip. It really feels like a Liam O'Yarity book. I don't know how to explain it other than that, except it just feels like, um, yeah, just a Liam O'Yarity book. I ate almost an entire bag of Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips last night. They were so good. <laughs> I could tap dance on these floors if I wanted to.
I'm like very, very relaxed. Our plane ride down here was like fantastic yesterday. It was really nice. And um, uh, we got down here like a short time. It didn't take us long at all. And I didn't think the airports were very busy. Of course, we flew down here really early. We were here by 11. And um, went to the grocery store, went to Publix. I like Publix, but it is so expensive. Like I said that before we got here. And um, so our friend, um, her husband, like before he moved back to Indianapolis, before they got married, he used to live in um, North Carolina. And I think they have Publix there because he had like a Publix card. He let us use it yesterday. And he was like, I love Publix. And I was like, yeah, but it's so expensive. And he was like, it isn't really that much more expensive. I'm like, compared to Kroger, it's like literally twice as much. And then my friend, she was there too, with us too. And she was like, yeah, I think it's a lot more expensive. So anyway. <sighs> do, 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 I hope I posted my vlog from last night and didn't forget. I did not charge my phone last night and it is almost dead. Let's see. Aaron said, I was just going to ask where you're going. You're going back to Florida for the weekend? Have a great time. Yeah, so we're just really, so this whole thing was just kind of like, our friends got married. They didn't really get to go anywhere on a honeymoon. They went away for like that weekend and that was it. So they were talking and they're like, we should get a place in Florida for the you know weekend. And so that was what it was. But we're all coming back early Sunday. So um, it's not like a super long trip. And we're just gonna do like dinners around here. And well, actually tonight we have dinner reservations. Um, but I think other than that, we're just gonna kind of like do dinners around here and just, it's gonna be like real low key. Let's see. Okay, I cannot see his name because I don't have my reading glasses on. I think it's L.A. Landroy said, I feel your packing pain, especially when I have an Airbnb. It makes me want to bring all of my comforts at home to experience a new place. But I, see, I agree. I'm the same way. Weird. Um, a home in Florida has no fan. I know. Don't you think that's weird? Especially like this place because like um, they have blow up mattresses. There's stuff like down in the garage you can use for the beach. There's all kinds of stuff here. So it kind of surprises me that there's no fan in here, but there's not. Um, okay, let's go on and see. Brittany said, I sleep with a fan year round. I need the sound, but I also need the bounce. I also enjoy the breeze on <laughs> the bounce, I said. Have so much fun, can't wait to hear about it. Um, Elle said, I got my second COVID shot yesterday. Still feeling um, some unpleasant side effects. Your video was comforting to listen to, thanks. Um, and then Aaron said, feel better. I'm going to get my second one today. Drink some Gatorade or Pedialyte or Powerade, whichever one you like, and that definitely helps with some of the side effects that helped me with the, ma the following um, day of my first one when I had a major migraine and I was nauseous. Okay, so my first one, I felt absolutely nothing. Like I couldn't even tell that I got it, except for that my arm hurt where I got the shot. And then on um, the second one, I was really, really groggy for like two or three days, just really exhausted and tired. Alex's first one, he didn't feel anything, but he didn't feel any side effects. His second one, he was like really, really sick. And like at like one o'clock in the morning was asking me to like get him Gatorade and stuff because he was just not feeling it. But by the middle of the next day, he was completely fine. Um, let's see. Okay, Lottie said, human food has more spices and salt than dog food. I don't think dogs like the same flavors and humans do. Are you going down to the beach too? Yes. Okay, well, um, I'll text you guys. I'll be down there in just a little bit. Okay. Good. I'm being really slow, so I might not ever make it out. <laughs> um... I don't think that dogs like the same flavors as, you know, it's interesting that you say that. I wonder if dog food is more, um, what do you call it, like bland? I'm sure it is in human food. And um, 
so maybe it's like just too much for them or something like that. It's interesting because Boo Radley will try, and, and I would think it would be the other way around, that Tucker would try stuff and Boo Radley wouldn't, but Boo Radley will try stuff, Tucker won't. Like Tucker will like sniff it or like lick it like, <laughs> not that I needed to demonstrate it, like lick it like once and then he'll be like, I'm done, I'm not doing this, um, which is interesting. So let's see. Okay, so Linda was talking about the video on that I did on my Peter Does Stuff channel. If you guys haven't watched my Peter Does Stuff channel, I opened a bunch of packages. I think I said that over here already. And um, so somebody sent um, Alex and I a bunch of the Cocosettas, which is like his favorite look cookie from when he was growing up. And they said, when Alex said, that touched my heart, or Linda said, when Alex said that touched my heart, I felt like he was surprised by the fact that Karen remembered his favorite cookie and that we love him too, which is so nice. I love that, you guys. Um, and she said, I used to travel with three suitcases and I thought it was absolutely necessary. I totally understand the fan thing. Florida and Joy for Lauderdale. Thank you, Linda. It's so funny because, so I ended up packing like a huge suitcase and I was, well, so I was going to take like just a carry on. <laughs> I had this whole discussion the other night. I was actually going to pack a small suitcase and a carry, like take a carry on roller bag. And then I said something to Alex and he was like, I'm just going to take a larger bag and check it. And I was like, well, the Alex is just gonna take a larger bag and check it because we get each check a bag for free. I was like, I might as well too. So I just packed a larger bag. We all did. Every single one of us brought like um, a larger bag. I, let me just tell you, my bag weighed in at, now I have a fan and three pairs of shoes in it, okay? But it weighed in at 40 pounds. <laughs> 40 pounds of shoes for four days. <laughs> um. Oh, Amy said, Peter does stuff video um, idea. Tucker and Boo have a pup cup. That's actually a good idea. Uh, you know what I should do? Oh my God, this would be so funny. Is on my Peter does stuff channel, I should do DIY making a pup cup at home because a pup cup is literally just a little cup with <laughs> whipped cream in it. That would be so hilarious. People, I'd be like real serious about it, you know? Like now you guys, I don't usually cook, but like people would think that was so funny because they wouldn't know if I was being serious or not. Okay, thank you for actually commenting on the show that whether I should watch Game of Thrones or Grey's Anatomy. Somebody finally did. So this is from Minimalist said, I would say Grey's because I'm not sure you would like all of the, okay, in Game of Thrones, but if you can take it, then Game of Thrones. I also found the language pretty disgusting at times, but middled through it. Um, I'm just reading through some. Um. Ashley said, in the summer of 1984, I turned one on a Friday. What? I'm confused. Oh, she turned one on Friday the 13th, 1984. Oh, I get it. Okay. Um. Are you guys taking a cooler? Could you take me a Diet Coke or two? Thank you. And I'll bring one down too. Okay, I'll take you one and then you go to Roby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what we call a roadie in recovery? A what? A, cu a cup of coffee and a styrofoam cup. <laughs> it's a true story. Well, your roadie is today. Oh, this this Thank you. You're welcome. Robert said 45 years for me for high, high school. Congratulations! Okay, um, oh my God, this is from December 16th, and Diana said, I know this is an old video, but I wanna congratulate you and, uh, and send you love. I wish to one day see my nephew be where you are now. Aw, thank you so much, and I wish that for your nephew as well. Um, Shelly said, oh my God, Peter, I love the movie Looker. Susan Day, yes, what was it from? The Partridge Family, I cannot remember what she was from, but she's totally different in that movie. It's really, really good. <clears throat> Albert Finney, he's the other person that's in it, was one of the main characters. Um, do, do, do. Brian said, I love when you speak about the gym teacher story. You have such 
um, tough stories about bullying from when you were a kid and for him to help you out in the way means so much. Yeah, it, it really, he was just such a fantastic guy, you know, and, and the thing is, I think it's important is like I can sit and I can talk about all of the sad negative stories, but I think it's important to bring attention to the positive stories as well, you know, and remember the people that did stand up for me and did help me because I think that that's important as well, you know. Um, okay, Debbie said regarding Peter's book club book, Central Park. Central Park is very good, but for some reason it's taking me longer this month to finish it. I was reading a book a week, but now my concentration is terrible. You know, I go through like book slumps like that too. I did that with, oh, what was that true crime book that I, we were reading? Um, the People Who Eat Darkness. Like I really, really struggled in getting that book done, but I did. I did it. Okay. Um... Look at this, somebody commenting on this. Do, do, do. Okay, wait, what book were you talking about, Peter? I can't remember the title, I wanna read it again. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys have to put more specific things in that for me to remember, because I don't remember what I was talking about in a vlog, you know? Um, Lynette said, I just watched your packing video, I loved your t-shirt choices, bright colors look great on you. <laughs> Thank you, and my black t-shirt. Um, Shelly said, I am in for a three hour vlog this summer, not long, and your pool will be open. So many people are putting blue hearts, which is so nice. Um, Beth said, my favorite old movie is, I don't, I've never heard of that movie. The pro this property is condemned, I've never heard of it. Star power in this movie is unreal. Love for you to watch, love the scene. Love this since I was very young, I'll have to watch it. Um, Aw, Hannah said, please don't say that you're a nobody. You're one of the best people I know. Oh, thank you. Uh, Vicariously Reading said, what recovery book? Didn't catch the title. I'm forever interested in recovery literature. I didn't, oh, if that's what you're talking about, I didn't say what the book was. It is, because it is, um, well, it's actually, it's not 12-step approved literature, so I can say what it is. It's Drop the Rock. And it is, I can tell you who it's by. Hold on just a second. Um, Drop the Rock book and you can actually get the pdf file of the version of the book online it is do 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 let's see it is um is it um hold on a second i should check and see is Drop the rock. I, I didn't think it was approved literature. Approved literature. Okay, so you got it, Bye. Bye, viewers. <laughs> Why is it pulling up Goodreads? Um, hold on a second. I can't see the answer to this. No, but that doesn't mean that. Okay, so. Approved literature means that it's like sanctioned literature by a 12-step program, okay? That we sell it within the 12-step program, that we quote it and things like that. Other things are called outside literature. So, Drop the Rock is specifically a literature book that is talking about step six and seven, which are about character defects, okay? And so it goes in and it talks about the seven deadly sins and it talks about character defects and removing de defects of character because they're basically things that weigh us down. And when you go into the beginning of the book, there's a story and it's talking about this woman named Mary and she's swimming to shore and she can't get to shore because she's got all these chains um, of rocks around her. And so they're like, drop the rock, Mary, drop the rock. And the whole idea is these chains of rocks represent our character defects. And once we remove one character defect and another, then we, are, we find our way to freedom, so to speak, right? So that's the whole idea of drop the rock. And um, so anyway, for our literature group, that's the book that we're reading. So we read a little bit of it and then we all comment on the reading of like what we relate to and things like that. And um, it's a fantastic book and I'm really excited about it. I've read bits and pieces of it, but I've never, I don't think I have ever read it. If I have, it was a long time ago, all the way through. And there's actually two books. There's Drop the Rock and then the second one I think is about emotional sobriety do, do I could be wrong the second book is called I will tell you um, I'm looking at it right here drop the rock the ripple effect um, here I'll tell you what it says um, drop the rock is one of the 
best selling recovery books ever with more than 200,000 copies sold today. Its companion piece, Drop the Rock, The Ripple Effect, has already sold thousands of copies. They apparently don't know that I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> now it's easy for you to get both of these essential recovery books in a convenient ebook bundle. Um, about Drop the Rock, a second edition. Resentment, fear, self-pity, ignorance, anger. As this person explains, there these are the rocks that can sink recovery or at the least block further progress. Based on the principles behind step six and seven, Drop the Rock combines personal stories, practical advice, and powerful insights to help readers move forward in recovery. The second edition um, features additional stories in a reference section. So for anybody out there that comes and says that I'm breaking traditions and whatever, this is not a 12 step sanctioned book. So no, I'm not actually. And I looked it up on video, so it's proved there. And then Drop the Rock, The Ripple Effect provides multiple perspectives from people successfully working a 12 step program and shows steps 10 as a key to sober, sober life free a fear and resentment and filled with serenity and gratitude. And step 10 is about taking daily inventory of our lives. So I'm really excited about that. And um, especially after having just finished doing inventory, usually, so uh, when you do like a four step inventory and then you share it in a fifth step with somebody, which is typically your sponsor, right after that you go into step six and seven to look at those um, patterns of behavior or who you were or themes in your life. And those are character defects or defects of character. And then you go and you look at those. So for me, it's like great that I'm like going right into that and looking at it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about it. And um, if you guys are looking for recovery books that were super, super helpful for me, one of the best books ever, I think, was Drinking a Love Story by Carolyn Knopf. Knopf, I think is her name. And, um, is that, how, what's her last name? It's a memoir, memoir. Um, it came out years ago. Drinking a Love Story. It's such a great book. Um, why can't I not find her name on it? I really do need my reading glasses. Carolyn Knapp. Yeah, I don't know what year it came out. Does it say down here? I don't see where it said it came out. Um, this extraordinary, extraordinarily candid and revealing memoir of her 20 years as a functioning alcoholic, Caroline Knapp offers important insights not only about alcoholism, but about life itself and how we learn to cope with it. Presents just enough science and provides a wrenching inner look at what this disease and the recovery start feel like from San Francisco Chronicle. It is really, really good if you're looking for a recovery book. I also loved, this is recent, it came out, but um, it's by Beth somebody, um, and it's called Blackout. Somebody's coming back up here, I wonder who it is. Blackout, Remembering the Things I Drank to Forget by Sarah Heppola. Who just came back up here? Hello? didn't open. It kind of freaks me out that we have an elevator that opens right into our place. A memoir of unblinking honesty and poignant laugh out loud humor. Blackout is the story of a woman stumbling into a new kind of adventure the sober life she never wanted. Um, and then it goes into talking about the person that wrote the book. For Sarah Heppola, alcohol was the gasoline of all adventure. She spent her evenings at cocktail parties and dark bars where she probably stayed till last call. Drinking felt like freedom, part of her birthright as a strong, enlightened 21st century woman, but there was a price. She often, hello? I feel like I can hear them in the elevator. She, she often blocked out waking up with a blank space where four hours should be mornings became detective where, wait, but there was a price. She often blocked out waking up with a blank space where four hours should be, should be. 
she often blacked out, waking up with a blank space where four hours should be. Mornings became detective work on her own life. What did I say last night? How did I meet that guy? She apologized for things she couldn't remember doing as though she were uh, cleaning up after all her, after an evil, evil twin. <clears throat> Publicly, she covered her shame with self-deprecating jokes and her career flourished. But as the blackouts accumulated, she could no longer avoid a sinking truth. The fuel she thought she needed was draining her spirit instead. A memoir of unblinking honesty and poignant laugh out loud humor. Blackout is the story of a woman stumbling into a new kind of adventure. The sober life she never wanted. The sober life she never wanted. Shining a light into her blackout, she discovers a person she buried, as well as the confident confidence, intimacy, and creativity she once believed came only from a bottle. Her uh tape her tale will resonate with anyone who has been forced to reinvent or struggled in the fate in the face of the camera stopped and I didn't even realize it. So let me read the last little part to you. Um, do, 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 do. Shining a light into her blackout, she discovered the person she buried as well as the confidence, intimacy, and creativity she once believed came only from a bottle. Her tale will resonate with anyone who has been forced to reinvent or struggled in the face of necessary change. It's about giving up the thing you cherish most, but getting yourself back in return. And it's really, really good, you guys. Tanya loved it too. And then also, if you're a family member, um, I would highly recommend um, Beautiful Boy, or if you're a parent uh, or somebody that is an addict, um, that book was fantastic. And it was really, really hard for me to read, you know, having known that I put my dad through all of that. So anyway, I think I'm gonna end my vlog there. I vlogged longer than I thought I would. So anyway, while I'm gone, I'll probably only vlog for like 15 or 20 minutes. And I fell asleep so early last night that, look at my beautiful hairdo. Anyway, um, I will be back later tonight, and I love you guys, and I will, um, I hope you, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. I hope you're having, what is today? An amazing Thursday, and I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> love you.